great. So, <laughs> between the time that I made that intro to now, it's been like a week. And, well, for one, I can't remember what I said in it. <laughs> um, which, I mean, you know, like, could have happened within five minutes of making the video. But also, like, part of the reason why it took me so long to sit down here and do the start to do these readings is because I don't know if it's like the Taurus sun in me, if it's my Virgo moon, blah, 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 you know, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's like, I, I didn't, I felt like I wanted to have something more prepared and I get stuck and hung up on these, like wanting something to be perfect which it never is and it's just almost like an excuse right so i don't know why am i talking about this i don't know um you know maybe it's just maybe you needed to hear it too that if you are delaying doing something huh other light um if you're delaying doing something if you're waiting for the perfect time for something that there, there's no such thing <laughs> there just isn't and you know like we start um kind of like amping up on the anxiety around it too right because then I started feeling anxious like oh my gosh like looking at the date oh my gosh like when was the last time I put out videos blah 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 you know and then for me I just kind of shut down you know <laughs> which isn't good that's not helpful for anybody, it doesn't make the anxiety go away. And that anxiety comes from knowing that I wanted to sit down here and I wanted to put out a message to you guys. I wanted to, you know, get some readings out there again. And um, the fact that I wasn't doing it was what was causing the anxiety. And the reason why I wasn't doing it is because I wanted to have something else that either added value to the reading or whatever, which is really kind of interesting because Venus just went retrograde right on Sunday. And that's the second house for me, which is about worth, worthiness, value, right? <laughs> and, and here I am going on and on about wanting something, whatever it is, to be perfect. And also the main message behind that being showing up exactly where you are and with exactly whatever tools that you have right now to do the thing. So with that being said, <laughs> I'm going to turn this into the intro video. <laughs> so you probably you won't even see the one that I was talking about that I just did a week ago because that, that has nothing now. I also, I realized that last month I didn't get around to doing um, human design profile readings and I do want to do those still. I'm like teetering between, you know, wanting to make those the priority and the zodiac signs secondary or, you know, kind of keep, because there's, you know, there's tons of videos from YouTube creators about zodiac signs. I haven't seen a single one about human design profiles or really anything else. And I think it's just, it's cool because it's, it's a different, it's just a different avenue to receive a message. You know, like any zodiac sign could be a 1-3 profile or a 2-5 a profile or whatever, right? Um... So I think I just answered my own question and I think I'm going to, for the time being, I'm going to lead with the human design profile readings. And if I get around to doing Zodiac readings in a month, then great. If not, um, it is what it is for the time being. I'm a manifesting generator, 5-1, emotional authority, and true to manifesting generator form. I have a million things going on, which is kind of why like my time is all of a sudden limited. And I am struggling to get all 24 videos out in a month. So um, that's okay because, you know, it's energy, right? And for right now, for whatever reason, I have a limited <laughs> availability of time, but also energy. I'm sacral, but that doesn't mean that I, I just, you know, 
I have endless amount of energy. Um, so, you know, we still need to be taking care of our sacral and, and giving it rest. But like I said, I just, I have a ton of stuff going on. And at some point, the energy is going to shift. And at some point, I will be able to put 24 videos out again. And, you know, it really goes into trust. That's a big thing with human design, too. It, they're, the major thing is deconditioning um, the ways that we were uh, structured to live our lives. And most of that is not listening to our own inner wisdom and guidance. And, you know, that's where the strategy and authority comes from. So without any further <laughs> delay, because I could keep going on and I probably will in, in the videos. But um, again, I'm going to lead with the human design profile readings. I am not going to worry about I, I like to have some sort of content um, that goes over everybody, each profile, just to give you, you know, like a different perspective from somebody else and their understanding of uh, what the profile says. I, I have some stuff buried in my, in my um, phone, but I'm not going to go, <laughs> I'm not going to go search for it this time. Uh, so going forward, I'll, you know, the next time we do these readings, I'll have some sort of content. But for now, we're just going to, yeah, treat it in some kind, uh, some kind of way. Okay. Alrighty. So, hi. <laughs> again did I say hi before I don't know but hello um, I also don't know if I if I introduced myself I'm so bad at that anyway my name is Liz and <laughs> this is Heretic Altero I will be your guide on this journey um, if you're here well you are here you would be a 2-5 or hermit heretic Heretic, I don't know. I like saying heretic better because I like the way that it sounds with owl. Heretic owl versus heretic owl. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference. But <clears throat> so um, you would have the 2-5 profile. And if you don't, if you don't know your profile and you're just like, hey, what is this? <laughs> welcome. All are welcome with whatever reading you come across. But if you do want to know, your specific human design there is a link in the description below to pull up your body graph and one of the many things that will be listed on there will be your profile so like i said um the two five is the hermit heretic and it's interesting like you guys and the two fives have this like interesting dynamic because the hermit just wants to be left alone right like the hermit needs time alone they need their comfy space you know, like no doubt, whatever space that you spend the most time in, it's got to be in just the way that you want it to be, uh, because that's also like where you rejuvenize and, you know, kind of get inspired and also like decompress. Right. So you want your space to be comfortable and to be just so like a little cave. Right. Even it doesn't have to obviously resemble a cave, but you know, just the the comforts of your own space. The other thing that comes along with the hermit line is this natural genius. There's this like natural aptitude for something. It could be literally anything. I feel like the 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 second lines that I know have a really good eye for trends and you know like up and coming popularity stuff. And, you know, like in whatever area, I have a friend that's a 2-4 and she designs jewelry. Um, she got into like permanent jewelry and, and is doing really well. I have another friend who is a 2-4 and they can just recognize like market trends um, more along like the fashion side of things or like skincare but also they have like an interest in those things right so it doesn't obviously have to be like jewelry or fashion or you know whatever but there is something that just it almost kind of comes like naturally to you and you probably don't even see it as like a natural aptitude type of thing right but with the fifth line 
also the the interesting thing that comes with the two fives and the five twos is that there's a projection field for both lines so you know with the second line since you do have you know kind of just a harder time recognizing that natural talent or quote unquote genius within yourself you need other people to see it in you right so that kind of comes with the the projection of other people but it's more so like they're calling you out like hey you're really good at that like that's awesome you know i want to be involved in that or you should get involved in this or you know whatever and then the fifth line the heretic heretic line comes with its own projection field of you know People um, will project onto you that you can save the day. You know, it's sometimes called the general or the hero or the savior. You know, like they feel like you have something that could impact whatever they're doing. And also the fifth line is transpersonal. So it does involve other people. Whereas, like I said, with the second line, it's like, eh, peopling sounds like a no thank you. So, you know, just needing to balance those two things like honoring your need to be alone but also recognizing that um you also you need to be around other people and that would only benefit you but obviously like with the fifth line the projection field also comes with kind of that negative side of you know um people like if you don't somehow live up to their expectations which 99 percent of time you're not even aware of but um, it could burn you at the stake is the, the terminology that's used in human design. And um, if you've had that happen, then you know exactly what that is. But, um, but yeah, you know, and also like being, being able to call yourself out, right? Like being able to, like I said, like recognize like, hey, I do need some time alone. But at the same time, like I recognize that I also need to uh, be around other people so you know the your strategy and authority would help you with that because your strategy and authority is there to help you enter into the quote-unquote correct experiences and then your profile is how you interact with the energies and the people of those experiences so um, you know it all just kind of goes together right and then we have great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. I love that. Speaking of coming out of the cave, right? Like <laughs> this is very much like out, um, out of the cave. Let's get some tarot and then we'll, we'll elaborate on that a bit. Very leadership forward too. Like, I'm not getting the vibe that you're one of the people that's rowing this boat. I get the vibe that, you know, you're the person that's, you know, kind of spearheading this adventure. And maybe there are other people around that can help you in whatever capacity, you know, like just help you progress forward. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the six of cups, the nine, <laughs> the nine of wands. I mean, yeah, this is quite the journey. That kind of came out weird. We have the three of cups in the reverse, which is really interesting. We have the hanged man. And the Three of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. And then the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Sun, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, Justice, Four of Swords. There's a lot of uh, mental, mental stuff going on at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I wanted to like flip this curly spider plant around. So it's interesting because maybe you have already taken this risk and maybe you kind of feel like you're not entirely sure if like the juice is worth the squeeze or that it's going to work out the way that you want it to um I actually I just for whatever reason and I I don't do this I've never done this actually <laughs> 
but I just split the the Oracle deck and the card at the bottom says miracles expect the wonders expect the wondrous to emerge so it's kind of like there's there's this glimmer of hope here and but also it's kind of like if you have taken a risk right and whether there are other people involved or not if you have taken a risk and if it isn't going or hasn't gone in a way that you wanted it to or expected it to then it's kind of like this would happen and it would be hard to see a glimmer of hope it would be hard to um you know expect or even recognize a miracle you know this person is even holding uh, a lantern that you know i mean it's kind of like some sim symbolic symbol okay words <laughs> it's a symbol of like a genie you know expect the wondrous to emerge so okay I'll, I'll, I'll obviously I'll get into kind of why I'm saying that because we start with the seven of wands and the seven of wands is like having to stand your ground it's you know having to like defend the actions that you've taken so far because wands are it's fire right and it's it's action it's the motivation behind the actions that we've taken it's creativity and passion and what actions are we taking towards those things how are we communicating those things it's also information because you know by trying things we figure out what works and what doesn't work. We discover what we like and what we don't like. And all of that is information that otherwise wouldn't even really be available if we didn't try something. So I see, I always see these six wands down here as being other people's projections, like their fears, their doubts, their expectations. And so it's interesting that we were talking about, you know, projections at the beginning having to do with your profile. And then, you know, we can see this one character here kind of defending themselves against these six uh, wands that are coming up. So again, you know, like you could be in this energy where you feel like you've, you either have to explain yourself or having to defend the actions that you've taken. But also it's like you're not at a place of wanting to give up on something you know like you might see you may be able to see forward or have a goal in mind and you're like i feel like it's possible you know like <laughs> and i want to keep pursuing it regardless of if you think it's plausible or possible or you know regardless of like your fear and your doubt on a thing and you know like whatever expectations other people had of you and so that's interesting that it's paired with the three of cups in the reverse because the three of cups upright is about support from others it's a card of celebration cups are about our emotions right so you know we can see these three people here that each have their own cup so you know each person has their ace of cups they've come together they all look very different too but again, right, it's like it is support from others. So, you know, it's like everybody is supporting the other person. There's not just one person that's in the spotlight, but it's like, you know, when you get together with your friends and everybody's like talking about like, oh, my gosh, you know, I, I, I got a promotion at work. I'm pregnant. I am engaged. I bought a house. You know, and it's like everybody is just like, oh, my gosh, good for you. You know, and they are like cheersing. And so with this being in the reverse, you know, like it's it's the opposite of that like maybe you are and you know i have definitely been this person sitting at the table with all my friends that are celebrating their successes and i'm over here like i'm alive <laughs> you know i i made it here <laughs> so you know but it's also like it's part of the the it's part of the journey and does it feel good not really but you know it's also like if you if there is just like this knowing in your soul you know it's also like you know getting very clear on that like are your are your own expectations reasonable you know are your goals 
reasonable and only you can determine that right like and it's it's also too what is the motivation behind like i was saying with the seven of wands what is your motivation behind what you are doing the six of cups is the card of the past it's nostalgia it's a good old days it's also in our child you know we can see this this kid here that's handing the adult version a cup so, you know, is this something that you wanted to do from the time that you were a kid? It doesn't even have to be from childhood, but just sometime in the past, you know, like, is it just something that you've always wanted to do? But, you know, with these two things paired together, these two things like right next to each other, it's like, again, you know, what is the motivation behind what you're doing? Is it spite or is it? um actual you know like passion and coming from a place of authenticity not from a place of I'll show you basically which you know like part of me is like that I'll show you vibe you know so I I was just telling somebody the other day like sometimes rage is like the the best motivator uh, to get something done, but it also can be kind of blinding and a bit like illusionary, you know, so just be careful with that. I'm just saying, you know, like out loud, just, you know, be mindful of that. And also it's always a good idea to check back in with yourself and make sure that your motivation is in check. You know, are you doing this because it's authentic? to you and you do believe that the risk is worth the, the potential reward the juice is worth the squeeze right just be sure that you're checking in with yourself on that and like i said like really only you can determine what that is for you i know you know like sometimes we get hung up in you know other people understanding what we're doing but also recognizing that with the fifth line a lot of people aren't going to understand you and be able to see you very clearly so you know it's again like not getting lost in those projections being sure that you know i don't want to sound like a broken record but just being sure that you know like you're checking in with yourself because this is somebody who knows this isn't somebody that's like you know doing things out of spite this is somebody that's like no, you know, like <laughs> I know what I'm doing and I know why I'm doing it. And, you know, I don't know what to tell you. It's not my responsibility to make you feel better about something that I am doing. Right. And then we have the hanged man here. And this is seeing something from a different perspective. So it's interesting that it's paired with the six of cups, because if there is, you know, something that you are pursuing that you've wanted to pursue for some time, or if it's something that, you know, was a manifestation of some kind from your childhood or your inner child, then the hanged man is saying, you know, there is an opportunity to see this from a different perspective, you know, because the hanged man, it's also a, like delay or suspension. And maybe this is just an energy that you've been in for a, a period of time. Or maybe even feel like kind of stuck in. I mean, maybe people are still treating you like a child. You know, like that could be. And that is very frustrating. And also this person, look at this. This is so wild to me. I've never recognized this. But this person is literally the same person. The same outfit that has this best looking thing on. Blue pants. Blonde-ish looking hair short hair so that's actually really really effing interesting and i feel like there's a reason why these two cards came out in the same reading but also like pretty close together here so it is kind of like if you have been in this energy of of defending yourself there is the the energy available here to to look at that differently and even too, like if you find yourself being defensive about this thing, you know, and almost just like kind of like grumpy about it in some capacity, you know, again, whatever, there's something here. There's something about it 
that um, can be like the perspective can be shifted on it. Also, I mean, this person is not in distress either. So it's not, you know, like this feeling of like being trapped or anything. You know, they are clearly like wrapped up in this ribbon here, but they're not like in distress either. If anything, it looks like they're sleeping. So that could even just be, you know, like when you do have the ability to get into hermit mode to allow yourself to rest and even meditation because, you know, the whole point of like meditation is to get quiet enough to hear, hear your own direction, hear your own message, right? So even if that's just like relaxing it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, like laying around prone, you know, and, and like actually taking naps. If you need that, then honor that. Right. But it, it could just be reading. It could be, um, you know, watching a show. It could be whatever art, you know, like just something that you like enjoy doing. It doesn't stress you out. It's not something that you feel like you have to do a certain way to have a certain result from it you know you just enjoy doing it which could also be why these two cards are coming up like getting back to that like childlike you know joy and um imagination even the six of cups i don't this just came through the six of cups is also like acts of kindness Maybe you even have like a younger sibling or somebody younger than you that um, is looking up to you. But then we have the nine of wands and the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. So it's interesting that we have the seven of wands and the nine of wands like sandwiching in the, the six of cups. There could have even been some sort of like expectation of you you know, from the time that you were a kid, because like I said, you know, with the second and the fifth line, there comes this projection where, you know, like the second line is going to create happy projections. The fifth line will, too. But like I said, if you don't somehow meet the expectation that, you know, the person or people projected on that fifth line, then it's like, you know, we thought this was, you know, we thought they were going to be so great. And now it's like, Womp womp. But that's that's on them too. That's not true. That's not your truth. That's not anything that you have to absorb and accept for yourself. You don't have to do things in order to prove your worth and to prove that you're not, you know, whatever um they say that you are, right? Like you don't have to do that. And if, if, you know, and, and as a fifth line myself, I'm a five one, you know, we, we can get stuck in trying to do that, but also I have a completely open heart, um, or will center. So, um, that also comes into play <laughs> too, but, um, basically, you know, I just, you know, you don't have to prove your worth to anybody. You don't have to do something just to show other people that you can do it or that you know get approval basically because the nine of wands like i said it's a wounded warrior this is somebody who has been through it right you know and they're they're taking a break they're sitting down here and also you know there's these these eight wands that they have set up around them and their lioness here they're holding the ace of wands so, you know, there's also it's kind of like creating this barrier or protection around you while also like holding on to your spark, your passion, you know, like the things that you enjoy doing, the actions that you've taken and nines are individual completion. So like I said, with with wands being information, this is somebody who, you know, like when life just kicks your ass. Like, you know, it's like one lesson after the other, after the other. And you're just like, can I just, you know, like get a break for a second? Like, can I just, can I do something that's not going to turn into a lesson? <laughs> um, but, you know, like the message with the nine of wands is 
take a break, but don't give up because it's like you're almost there. But you very much deserve that break. So it's also interesting that, you know, this hanged man looks like they're taking a nap while hanging upside down. And it's paired with the three of pentacles, which is collaboration with other people. Um, you know, pentacles have to do with our money, how we get it, how we save it, how we spend it. It's our physical time. Like, what are we putting our physical time into? It's our physical body. It's our health. Right. And with it being a three, it's at the, the beginning of the journey through the pentacles. So, again, right, it's it is help from others, but it's like. Both, everybody has the same goal. Everybody is working towards the same goal. So everybody has their own jobs or their own tasks or their own whatever they're doing, but they know that they're all working towards the same, the same goal. So this could even be, you know, like just taking, you know, whatever it is that you, you have been spending your time and it could just be even taking like a little bit of a breather and just recentering, you know, like get refocused, get a plan in place. I love that we have the three of cups here and the three of pentacles here. Just I love that there's three threes <laughs> and three plus three equals six. I don't know. my That's how my brain works. So it's just interesting to me when things like that happen. <laughs> because even, you know with the three of cups in the reverse and and going diagonally to the six of cups this could even be you know leaving behind old uh old friendships like if you're if 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 the people around you are not supporting you they're not cheering you on you know i mean there's a difference between somebody being like you know being an ear and you know um trying to help you versus somebody who is like i don't even know why you're still doing that like you're just wasting your time it's not worth it you know i don't even want to hear about it anymore like it's just it's you know i i just don't know why you're still doing it versus somebody who's like you know what like this is what happens like you know it, it's not all rainbows and butterflies and if it's something that you truly believe in i totally support you and you know, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to support you, even if that is just being an ear to, you know, like let you vent your frustrations or disappointments or anger, whatever about the the process that you've been going through. But it's like, you know, they even if they're like, I don't know why she's doing this. I don't know why he's doing this. Like, <laughs> even if like that's what they're thinking that's that you know they they're still going to support you so that this pairing right here it could just be that you know like the people around you if they're not supporting you and especially if they've been in your life for a long time then it could just be you, it's not like you have to necessarily break up with your friends but also just recognize that they may not be the ones that you can go to when you need to vent or when you need support and, you know, maybe finding other people who are in the same boat as you, who understand the struggle of whatever you're trying to do. And, you know, like just getting with them and uh, venting, you know, to them or, or looking to them for support, right? And then we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Again, I mean, nines are completion. We have two nines out here. Um this is a card of like, you know, fear, doubts, you know, um, that they're also sleeping. So again, rest, like be sure it doesn't matter what aura you are, you know, even sacral beings, like, you know, we might have, you know, access to that life force energy with the sacral, but that doesn't mean that we, we don't burn out. So be sure that you are honoring your need for rest. And again, rest doesn't have to be sleeping. It can because there's three cards in here. There's two cards in here <laughs> that are sleeping. One card that's about, you know, taking a break there. But just be sure that you are, you know, even if, like I said, even if it is just taking a breather to watch a show, you know, like pampering yourself in some capacity, reading a book, you know, doing something that you, you used to enjoy doing, 
but you just haven't had a, had a chance to do it in the last little while. Even like, you know, a coloring book, like one of those adult coloring books or something, you know. But um, again, this is, you know, a completion of the the mental, you know, kind of gymnastics and, and overthinking, overanalyzing. And I love that right behind that we have the sun card because the sun is everything good. It's rejuvenating, revitalizing. It's, it is that life force energy because, I mean, we wouldn't even be here if it weren't for the sun. Um, it could even just be needing to get outside and get a little bit of vitamin D if you, if that's accessible and you're in the Northern hemisphere and it's summer, um, you know, like just being sure that you are just getting out into nature if possible. And then we have the Knight of swords, you know, like commute fast moving communication coming in. We have the two of swords, which is a little bit of indecision. This also just kind of feels like not jumping into something, you know, really kind of giving yourself a chance to also honor your strategy and authority, you know, like let that kind of lead the way for you. And if you don't, if you're not very familiar with that, then, you know, maybe just do a couple Google searches and read a couple articles about um, your strategy and authority. Justice Karn, this is what's interesting. So like I said, we have all of this air back here with this one fire card. This is Leo. Justice is Libra. And then the four of swords. <laughs> so, you know, even this with the knight of swords and the two of swords, it might just be where, you know, whatever this knight of swords is, it might just come in like either unexpectedly or so fast that you're just like, ah, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do or, or, you know, I don't know what would be the, the right decision and take your time with it. Right. Like, and also whatever it is though, it is, it, it's almost like karma or fate. Like it is going to balance things out for you, whatever decision that you make, there are no wrong decisions ever anyway. But whatever decision that you make, like this thing, whatever it is that's coming in, it is exactly for you. And then we have the Four of Swords, which again, this person is sleeping <laughs> or at least resting. But this is a card of healing. This is also a card of don't worry about it. We have the Two of Cups, partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be business. It could be platonic. But this is, again, you know, the shared values. Thing. It's it's like meeting and collaborating with the right people. We have the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, the Hermit. Like, you know, so whatever, whatever this this risk is that it seems like you've already taken, wherever it is in in, in that process for you, if it if it doesn't seem like it's been rainbows and butterflies, you, it, this is part of the process. It is very much part of the journey. And there is good stuff that's coming for you, especially since we had miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Exactly. The wondrous emerging is all behind this nine of swords. And I love that for you. I'm leaving it there. Thank you so much for allowing me to read your cards. I'll talk to you soon.